A bear suddenly interfered in the situation after this irate father put his son onto the railroad tracks, leaving him to whatever fate might befall him, Alex and Nina, a young couple who lived in the same town, discovered that they had a common interest in experiencing new things, which brought them together. The beginnings of their relationship eventually developed into a genuine love that made the prospect of being apart intolerable, at the park where they had their first date, Alex made his proposal to Nina after they had been dating for a number of years, and she enthusiastically accepted his proposal. They were eager to share their joy with others, so they started arranging their wedding as soon as possible, surrounded by their loved ones. In the course of the ceremony, they exchanged vows, committing to love and support for all of eternity, while they were dancing as newlyweds. They experienced an amazing sensation of excitement and contentment. They were convinced that they were prepared to tackle the obstacles that life would bring them together, from the moment they woke up intertwined in each other's arms until the moment they traveled the world and enjoyed each sunset, their marriage exceeded all of their wildest predictions. Nina's long-held dream to become a mother was finally realized when she found out she was pregnant, which brought their happiness to a whole new level, despite his initial reluctance. Alex eventually became enthusiastic about the prospect of Becoming a parent and enthusiastically anticipated the arrival of their child during the time that Nina was going into delivery, Alex was sitting in the hospital waiting room, his anxiousness becoming obvious as he waited for word, Alex's world was turned upside down when the doctor arrived with the devastating news, Nina had sadly passed away as a result of problems that occurred during childbirth. Their newborn baby was the only person to survive the tragedy, despite this, Alex's anguish was so overpowering that it nearly completely obscured his awareness of the acts taken by the doctor. The physician checked the emergency contact form and dialed a number that was mentioned, which allowed him to get in touch with Sophia, Nina's mother. As soon as Sophia found out that her daughter had passed away, she hurried to the hospital, where she was overtaken with weeping. Upon realizing the gravity of the situation, she made the offer to take care of the newborn until Alex was able to regain his equilibrium. Unfortunately, after Nina's passing, the narrative took a sadder and more tragic turn. As a result of Alex's inability to deal with his grief, he became increasingly angry and resentful. The infant was a terrible reminder of his loss, and he blamed himself for the catastrophe. Instead of finding peace in his surviving child, he saw the baby as a reminder of his grief. Alex's refusal to acknowledge or visit his son led to his descent into alcoholism, which resulted in him routinely passing out on the streets. Alex's resentment only became stronger over the course of time, which ultimately led to him isolating himself from those he cared about and falling deeper into hopelessness, in spite of the fact that he had neglected the child. Sophia lavished the child with love, thereby granting her daughter's wishes, she ached for Alex to demonstrate even the slightest expression of concern for the well-being of his son. One day, while Sophia was out on her regular stroll, she came across a bear cub that was in danger on the railroad tracks since a train was rapidly approaching, she hurried to the assistance of the cub without any sort of hesitation, Narrowly evading the approaching train in the process, unbelievably, Sophia was able to save the cub without causing any harm to it, however, she later came across an adult bear, which, rather than attacking her, appeared to express gratitude for her deeds from that point forward. The bear and her cub made frequent visits to Sophia and the youngster, thereby establishing a link of affection between them. During this time, Alex started to feel better. He started dating again, he was thinking about getting married again, and he was thinking about the life he had led. After a period of two years, Alex made his first visit to the residence of Sophia, the mother of his late wife, since he felt that it was time for him to regain his life, the fact that he indicated a wish to take his kid back, noting his intention to be responsible and build a family with his new partner completely blew Sophia away, she was even more surprised when he declared his want to take his son back, with tears in her eyes, Sophia gave the boy to his father and then gave them a tearful farewell, 
on occasion, she paid her grandson a visit, and she was glad to observe that Alex was providing him with excellent care. After one week had passed, Sophia waited on her doorstep for her bear companions to arrive, but they did not show up, she knew that they might be preoccupied with other concerns. Despite the fact that she was disappointed, in the later hours of that day, she encountered the mother bear, who was approaching with something in her teeth. When Sophia looked more closely, she discovered that the person being carried was her own grandson, who was being lovingly carried beside the bear's own cub. After following the bear till they reached the railway line, where she saw Alex unconscious and under the influence of alcohol, Sophia was quite curious, fearing for her life. She called the authorities, who, upon conducting their inquiry, uncovered a horrifying fact. In his grief, Alex had lashed out, not just because he was drowning in drink but also because he was haunted by thoughts of his late wife, Nina. By placing his son on the railroad tracks, he intended to make the child suffer for what he believed to be his part in Nina's murder. He did this while he was under the influence of alcohol, to the baby's good fortune. The bear came to his rescue and brought him to the care of his grandma before a rushing train could cause him any harm. As soon as Alex regained consciousness, he was overcome with feelings of sorrow and regret in response to the realization that he had put his child in danger, which caused tears to run freely from his eyes as a result of his emotional show, the officers made the decision not to take away custody of the child from him, however, they did warn him that he would be subject to tight supervision and that he would face repercussions for any additional mistakes. Alex, who was thankful for their ability to be lenient, went back to his house. With the intention of starting over, Alex's life took a significant shift as a result of the events that transpired on that particular day, following his decision to abstain from alcohol consumption, he wed his new partner and welcomed his kid into their home, where they gave him with loving care, Sarah, Alex's wife, hugged the boy as if he were her own and showered him with tenderness and affection, Alex, who was looking for redemption, approached Nina's mother and asked for forgiveness, he also expressed his gratitude to Nina's mother for her steadfast support during his difficulty, in the end, Alex and his son set out on a mission to reconstruct their lives, and what they discovered was that their relationship brought them both consolation and happiness, by creating new memories together, they were able to cultivate a sense of tranquility and contentment in their relationship. The question of whether or not one would be willing to befriend a bear or trust Alex with his son again is one. That is open to individual interpretation, it's possible that some people have faith in the concept of second chances and the possibility of atonement, while others could approach situations like this with caution, an individual's level of comfort with wildlife and the specifics of the meeting both play a role in determining whether or not they are able to make a bear a friend. That's all about the first story and now let's watch another similar story a young boy was thrown from his father's moving vehicle in a remote place. And he found himself in a condition of uncertainty and anxiety as a result of the incident, he was hurt and left alone, and he was uncertain about what would happen to him, it came as a complete surprise to him when a bear materialized and carried out an incredible act. As Sam's father drove wildly through the winding roads of Montana, he went through a terrifying experience that left him shaking with anxiety. The evening light produced lengthy shadows over the thick forest, which accentuated the difficult landscape that was already present during the journey. Sam's father, who was consumed by fury and drink, let loose with his rage, which increased the situation's level of risk, as a result of the boy's repeated pleading for the car to come to a stop, his father became even more enraged, which led to verbal and physical assault. Sam's father reached a state of frenziedness as the automobile careened through the forest. And as a result, he ultimately ejected his son into the dirt. Rode in a heartless act of abandonment, Sam, who was left battered and alone, stared helplessly as the car vanished into the night, leaving him stranded in the emptiness of the wilderness. He was overcome with terror and hopelessness, but he was aware that he needed to keep moving in order to avoid becoming a victim of the predators that were hiding in the shadows during the night. 
Sam labored to get to his feet. Despite the fact that he was disoriented and had sustained injuries, he was confronted with the formidable challenge of surviving in the harsh wilderness. Sam was aware that he required aid, but he was also disoriented about his location and direction, as he wandered the woods, each step he made caused waves of pain to travel through his injured body as Sam's health deteriorated. His senses became more acute when he heard a gentle rustling sound in the vicinity. This caused his heart to race with panic, having no idea what the most effective line of action would be, he contemplated whether he should run away or confront whatever was coming his way. Having been worn out by the happenings of the previous several hours, he made the decision to confront the problem head-on, with the expectation that it would just be a harmless deer, as he turned his attention to the sounds, he was taken aback to see a bear emerge from the shadows, which was contrary to what he should have anticipated as it approached Sam with caution, the bear, despite its enormous size, looked at Sam with eyes that revealed a surprising amount of warmth and intelligence, Sam stayed immobile, unsure of how to react, despite the fact that he was experiencing an intuitive fear, he was aware that he was not well equipped to protect himself, and he momentarily considered climbing a tree, however, he ultimately decided against it due to the injuries and exhaustion he was experiencing, at the same time that Sam and the bear resumed their conversation in silence. Sam couldn't shake the sensation that this bear was not like the violent creatures he had heard about, An unexpected turn of events occurred as the bear lowered itself to the ground and stretched a large paw towards Sam, gently prodding him, this was an unexpected turn of events, Samantha, who was both perplexed and intrigued by this gesture, perceived it as an invitation, motivated by a combination of terror and curiosity, he slowly clambered upon the bear's back, clinging onto its fur securely. This was despite the fact that he initially did not believe what he was seeing, Sam braced himself for an anticipated attack or any show of hostility from the bear, but none of these things materialized, he did this while keeping his eyes securely closed, instead, the bear climbed back onto all fours with an impressive amount of elegance, adjusted Sam's weight, and then proceeded to carefully move deeper into the forest. Sam, who was overcome with a sensation of incredulity, clung to the bear. Seeking solace in the bear's warmth and the sense of security it offered, in spite of the strange nature of the circumstance. He discovered comfort in the bear's presence, and after several days of anguish, he experienced a rare feeling of safety within his own body. While they were traveling through the forest, Sam could only conjecture about the bear's intentions, he considered the potential that they might be lead to the bear's cave, where they would be subjected to a horrific fate, however, despite the fact that he was thinking about horrible things, he was unable to ignore the peculiar feeling of reassurance that surrounded him, in spite of the fact that he was dubious, a portion of him clung to the faith that the bear was working to lead him to safety, on the other hand, as the night wore on and Sam's strength began to wane, he started to slip into and out of consciousness, and he eventually fell off the bear's back, after being jolted awake by the bear's nuzzling. Sam experienced a brief moment of disorientation before he became aware of his circumstances, the torrent of emotions that he was. Experiencing caused him to break down in tears, which was a significant departure from his typical stoicism, which he used as a coping mechanism against the aggressive behavior of his abusive father during that particular moment, he was deeply yearning for the love and soothing presence of his mother, who had passed away, his tears were also tinted with thoughts of his mother, imagining how his mother would have been able to alleviate his suffering and make everything better once more, he pondered the possibility, it seemed as if the bear was aware of his profound sorrow and loss for his mother, who had passed away, since it rested its heavy head on his shoulder, this brought an abrupt end to his reverie, Sam pulled his legs closer to himself in an effort to find warmth and security as the early hours of the morning approached, the air was chilly, and the sky was dark, as a natural reaction to Sam's motions. The bear positioned itself behind him and wrapped its massive body around him in a protective manner. 
As Sam experienced the bear's efforts to protect and warm him, he came to the realization that this extraordinary creature might be his only chance of surviving on this planet. Sam started to trust the bear, despite the fact that they were in stark contrast to one another in terms of size and strength. He sensed an unspoken relationship between them that went beyond the borders of their respective species. Through his reasoning, he came to the conclusion that if the bear had planned to hurt him, it would have already done so, it was instinctive for him to assume that the bear had good intentions, and he made the decision to trust it, just as the sun began to rise, Sam and the bear both began to stir awake in response to the light, after rising to its feet, the bear stretched its body out before lowering it once more and encouraging Sam to jump atop its back, the bear, who possessed a highly developed sense of smell, became aware of something in the vicinity and started moving in a deliberate manner in a direction that was consistent, periodically sniffing the air for hints, as they followed the bear's lead, Sam, who was both interested and concerned, clung to the bear's arm closely, he was oblivious that they were heading in the direction of the scent of a picnic, Sarah and Mark had decided to have a tranquil picnic in the isolated wilderness, unknowing of the unexpected turn their day was about to take. Unbeknownst to Sam, the bear, Realizing that he needed aid beyond what it could supply, guided him towards the source of the scent, Sarah and Mark had chosen to enjoy their picnic in the wilderness as they basked in the warmth of the sun, they had a wonderful morning, which they enjoyed to the fullest extent possible, as they devoured their food, they were delighted to be at their picnic, which they had been looking forward to all week, on the other hand. Mark maintained a high level of vigilance and monitored their surroundings continuously in the midst of a forest, dining in the open presented a number of challenges. Most notably with regard to the potential attraction that the scent of their food could evoke, a loud rustling sound could be heard in the neighboring bush, which Mark was able to identify before Sarah. The sound was initially disregarded by Mark who then interrupted Sarah's talk while concentrating closely on the voice, the sudden appearance of a large grizzly bear that was emerging from the clearing was a frightening sight for him to see. Responding quickly, Mark positioned himself between Sarah and the bear, armed with bear spray, and positioned himself between the two, his heart was beating, and his adrenaline was surging, but he was aware that his odds of winning against the bear were extremely low, on the other hand, he was determined in his commitment to safeguard his wife, during the process of providing Sarah with an outline of survival techniques. His attention was pulled to something peculiar that was located on the bear's back, Mark and Sarah were coming face to face with. Their worst dread, and their anxiety increased with each step that the bear came closer to approach them, when they looked more closely, they were horrified to see a little boy who had been beaten laying awkwardly on the back of the bear as Sarah struggled to make sense of what was happening. She even rubbed her eyes in a sign of denial, as they watched, they were overcome with fear, however, they quickly recognized that the bear's acts were not hostile, rather, it appeared to be providing them. Youngster with care and protection, at the moment that the bear became aware of Mark and Sarah, it raised its head as if to verify their scent and evaluate the degree to which they were friendly, in a manner that seemed to indicate that it was content, it started to lower its body to the ground, gradually removing the sleeping youngster from its shoulder as the young child began to stir from his sleep. The bear remained vigilant and continued to prod him until he became awake, while the youngster, who was bewildered, was taking in his surroundings, the bear gradually moved away from him, giving him some room towards the pair, the bear let out a low groan, which gave the impression that it was encouraging them to approach the youngster who was injured, the two individuals, Mark and Sarah, approached the child, who was covered in bruises and filth, in a methodical and deliberate manner without any hesitation. At the moment when Sam looked directly into their eyes, his expression conveyed a sense of both dread and relief, in spite of the fact that his voice was hardly audible beyond a whisper, he was able to beg, please help me, Sarah's eyes began to well up with tears as she knelt next to him, seeking comfort in the bear's presence, which was a silent assurance, 
she reassured Sam in a tender manner that they would ask for assistance on his behalf. Due to the injuries he sustained, she was unable to embrace him. In order to provide him with some consolation, she softly caressed his hair as Mark dialed. For aid on his phone, they swiftly communicated their location and the critical need for medical assistance, and then they waited with bated breath for assistance when Sarah and Mark offered Sam food, water, and the warmth of their picnic blanket, Sam remained silent and refused to eat, Sarah and Mark were surprised by Sam's response, it appeared as though Sam had a profound apprehension about trusting these unknown individuals. Yet the bear had an implicit trust in them during the time that the bear was making its way back to its den, the three individuals witnessed it leave just as quickly as it had arrived, not long after that, a group of emergency medical technicians came by plane, getting ready to transport Sam to a medical facility after observing the boy's fragile look and the obvious requirement for quick treatment, the paramedics expeditiously started the process of stabilizing him. As Sarah came to the realization that Sam must have been through a lot of struggles before coming into contact with them. Her heart broke with compassion, the young youngster was rescued from the field within a short amount of time and, happily, was in a stable condition for transportation, he was sent to the nearest hospital, where he displayed frightening indicators such as acute dehydration and disorientation. The medical personnel was concerned about his condition, when the medical staff arrived. They were shocked to see the degree of his injuries, which were significantly more severe than they had previously imagined, numerous fractures and significant bruises, some of which were quite ancient, provided evidence of previous mistreatment. The fact that Sam's consciousness was constantly shifting made it difficult to communicate effectively, which in turn hampered the investigation into the reasons behind his injuries. As a consequence of this, medical care was delivered in accordance with the expert opinion of the physicians. The first steps on Sam's road to recovery had just begun, both physically and mentally both, as he gradually regained awareness, he remained in his hospital bed, quietly expressing his gratitude for the attention and affection that he had received prior to his recovery. Mark and Sarah made it a habit to visit him on a daily basis, offering him the same kind of solace and support that his mother had provided him with, at times when Sam was by alone. He couldn't help but think of the bear that had come to his rescue, acting as a protector in the forest and showing him compassion during the most difficult time of his life in light of the fact that sam's condition would have worsened much further in the absence of the bear's assistance his story of survival has captured the attention of a large number of people sam's account of being mistreated prompted the authorities to take action which ultimately resulted in the boy's safety being protected eventually his father showed up when sam was left without a guardian he found himself in a position of Isolation until an amazing event took place, Mark and Sarah expressed interest in adopting him. And their connection was obvious from the minute they first met, the couple, who had been having difficulty conceiving a child of their own, recognized an opportunity to raise the young boy as their own and decided to take advantage of it, Sam, on the other hand, rejoiced in their adoration and discovered that he was protected and secure in their care. Sam was able to flourish in an environment that was supportive and loving because this environment provided him with the stability he needed. The memory of the bear's intervention remained with Sam as he continued his journey, it served as a reminder that even at the most difficult of times, there is always the possibility of a guardian who is willing to offer support. Sam's perspective on life was profoundly altered as a result of this encounter, which left an unforgettable impression on him. That's all about this story and now let's watch the next one. When a woman decided to take a trip to the Canterbury region of Spain for her vacation. She had high hopes that she would have a relaxing and revitalizing experience there. Her adventure, however, took a turn for the worst when she experienced problems when crossing a river and narrowly avoided drowning as a result of her own efforts. Her calls for assistance reached the attention of an unanticipated savior which turned out to be a powerful wild bear. This event throws light on the long-standing coexistence of humans and wildlife, 
which has been going on for millions of years. When humans began to move over the globe, creating towns and expanding their territory, wild animals frequently found themselves displaced from the natural ecosystems in which they had previously settled despite the fact that interactions between humans and wildlife may potentially be dangerous, for the most part, both animals and people kept a respectful distance from one another and coexisted happily. Humans have taken on the responsibility of protecting and conserving certain animal species. Despite the fact that these species are inherently dangerous. Throughout history, there have been several situations in which animals in distress have sought assistance from humans, who have, in the majority of cases, provided assistance, however, when humans find themselves in a position where they require aid from animals, the scenario takes an exciting but unexpected turn. The question is whether these creatures would return our benevolence, or whether their basic impulses would win out, which may make our predicament even more difficult during her time. Off in Canterbury, Spain, Maria Carmen found herself confronted with this seemingly insurmountable challenge, Maria, who was captivated by the natural splendor of the area, had envisioned a relaxing getaway in which she would be able to immerse herself in the region's verdant forests, tranquil beaches, and clear waterways because of her interest in animals. She decided to investigate the area flora and fauna, this endeavor was spurred by the fact that she volunteered at an animal shelter, Maria. Found fulfillment in her selfless actions, which included assisting animals in need, whether they were household pets or exotic species, she devoted herself to helping animals in need, Maria was filled with a sense of amazement and awe that characterized her journeys as she pushed farther into the forest, her surroundings beyond her wildest dreams, which ignited a sense of wonder and awe. During the course of her wildlife spotting journey, Maria had high hopes of coming across Shami, a native species that she had not yet seen in the wild, on the other hand, she was unaware that danger was lurking close, and her fantasy expedition would soon turn into a nightmare as Maria got closer to a river that was cutting through the forest, she noticed that it was quite large and appeared to have a substantial depth, Maria's advanced age presented a barrier that she had not foreseen, despite the fact that there were boulders that served as stepping stones across the river, however, despite her self-assurance. Her attempt to cross the river turned out to be quite risky. During her third leap, Maria's foot slipped and landed on a rock that was covered in moss, this caused her leg to twist, which in turn caused her to fall into the icy water below. At the moment of impact, Maria was left speechless due to the coolness of the river, which sprang from its mountainous source. This was the case despite the fact that the weather was sunny, while she was struggling to maintain her buoyancy in the frigid water. She fought against the numbing cold and the rapid flow, looking for a way out of the situation as desperately as she could, Maria's anxiety increased with each short breath she took, which was made worse by the fact that there was no one nearby to offer assistance in the remote forest while being carried downstream by the unrelenting river. She suffered cuts from pebbles that were submerged in the water as well as abrasions from the power of the water, her senses were numbed by the freezing. Cold, Maria was determined to find firm ground and safety amidst the turbulent waters, and she clung to the hope that she would eventually reach the riverbank, despite the misery that she was experiencing, the limbs of Maria continued to be unresponsive and she was hardly able to make any movement at all as she confronted the dreadful possibility of her passing occurring very soon. The water was constantly enveloping her, and she imagined that her life was slipping away, and that her body was destined to be transported out to sea when the river eventually joined with the ocean all of a sudden, however, an unexpected turn of events occurred, which left her speechless and incredulous. In the midst of her efforts to maintain her buoyancy, the trees that lined the riverbank suddenly began to sway, indicating the presence of an unanticipated presence. She was taken aback as a massive bear materialized before her. Its eyes fixed on the human being who was in trouble, not only did this sight make Maria's panic worse. 
But it also brought to her mind the fact that bears have a reputation for being vicious and viciously violent, despite the fact that she admired and respected these majestic creatures, the prospect of coming face to face with one in the wild under such precarious conditions was the stuff of nightmares. The Canterbury region of Spain was home to roughly 300 grizzly bears, which were formidable predators that dominated the highest level of the food chain due to their dominant position, they were able to create fear in anybody who came into contact with them since they possessed enormous jaws and sharp claws, on the other hand, when they were at their most peaceful, they exhibited a tenderness that was unexpected, and they mostly consumed vegetarian food, on the other hand, when they were provoked, their rage was unparalleled. Maria recalled a previous experience she had with a tranquilized grizzly bear at an animal sanctuary, she was awestruck by the bear's enormous size and overwhelming power, and she felt as though she was dwarfed by its presence, on account of her weakened state, she was unable to exert any influence over the bear, despite her desire to scare it into retreating, the bear was prompted to investigate after hearing loud calls for assistance that were in a state of desperation, Following a brief period of reflection, the bear entered the water and moved briskly toward the woman who was suffering from drowning, incapable of putting up a fight or running away. Maria gave in to the waves and drifted in and out of awareness as she passed away, with the hope that she would be saved, she grabbed onto the bear's fur as she became aware of its presence next to her, on the other hand, her power began to weaken and darkness began to envelop her, Maria discovered herself resting on the riverside after she regained consciousness. She was saved from the jaws of passing by the bear's unexpected intervention, which prevented her from getting ended, Maria felt herself drenched to the core. Shivering violently, yet the warmth of the sun offered a soothing contrast against her freezing skin, as she struggled to remove water from her lungs and coughed heavily, she became aware of the bear that was only a few meters away, its gaze was curious and appeared to be evaluating her conditions. Maria was first overcome with terror once more, however. Her anxiety dissipated as she became aware of the bear's intentions to have a positive impact on her life, the grizzly bear had hauled her out of the water, guaranteeing her safety by the riverbank, this was a magnificent demonstration of compassion on the part of the animal, as Maria slowly stood up, her gaze remained fixated on the bear as she reflected on the bizarre change of events around her, in spite of the fact that she was uncertain about her ideas regarding cosmic reciprocity. She couldn't help but interpret the bear's actions as a form of compensation for the years that she had spent helping and saving creatures that were in. Need, the bear stood up and walked away, disappearing into the depths of the forest with a lovely expression on its face, after the remarkable encounter, Maria was left in a state of amazement, and it was an experience that she would always carry with her, as she reflected on the astonishing story, she pondered the unusual occurrence of wild creatures providing assistance to human beings, she extended an invitation to others to share their ideas and experiences, which prompted them to contemplate how they would respond in the event that they were confronted with a circumstance of such significance.